<laughs> What's up, guys? Here we come again. It is Two Bit, bit chicks. chicks. No high five this time? <laughs> yeah. Next. Oh, my goodness. So this is our check-in number two. Okay. So we have some results for y'all. We'll go over those. Um, I guess we'll start. Amy, do you want to tell them? what your weight loss was? Yeah, so my very first day one weight was 136.6. Week two check-ins, I cut to 133.6. So it's a total loss of three pounds. And then I ended up losing 2.2 pounds. So I started at 126.4 and I ended up at 124.2. So I'm about right in that range where I wanna be is like two pounds a week because I'm not necessarily trying to lose fat mass. I'm tr I want to maintain the muscle I already have. Amy, on the other hand, lost about three, which isn't bad, but since she's doing like also some power lifting, we upped her carbs a little bit. We'll go ahead and tell y'all our macros. Now, know this, everyone's body is different, so please don't copy either one of our macros. We'll kind of tell you how to find your own and make your own meal plan. Um, and then y'all can comment and message us if you have questions about it. So my protein right now is at 152. My fats are at 41 and my carbs are at 170. So total caloric intake for me is at 1683. And that's definitely a cut for Amy. Like obviously she lost about three pounds. Like we're definitely under, but she goes a little higher carb than I do because she does a lot of powerlifting. So she was maxing out this week. So she probably needs more carbs than she has, but she's doing well at what she's at right now. My protein right now is at 165. My fats are at 40 and my carbs are at 158. And my total calorie intake is 1652. So you can tell that like I go a little higher protein and she goes a little higher carb. My body just responds to higher carbs. And then when I take them away is like when I really see that fat loss, it's just kind of tailored to how your body responds. Yeah. And it's also kind of the workout style that you're doing as well. Like for powerlifting, she's exerting a lot of energy. So those higher carbs is, is what she needs. And then I'm not doing as heavy lifting as Amy right now. I like to keep my protein higher. My body responds to low carbs. Okay, guys. So we're going to talk to you a little bit about how to find your own macros. So little tips here, um, how to get started is you go to your BMR calculator on Google. It's going to ask you for your weight, your age, and your height. Put the information in. Um, find the maintenance that it gives you. It's going to be generalized, right? Like it's not going to give you, everyone's body is different. So it's going to give you kind of what the like average human maintenance calorie at your weight and everything is going to be. From there, it's going to tell you, okay, if you work out one to three times or four to five and so on and so forth. So whatever, how many ever times you're working out, kind of go off that base number, okay? And then if you want to be at a deficit and you want to lose weight, I would say go probably between 20 to 30% deficit from that calorie. So go ahead and take those calories out. From there for protein. So you're gonna have three, right? Protein, fats, and carbs. Those are your uh, three macros that you need to worry about. Protein, you're gonna wanna go to one to 1 1.5 grams per body weight, okay? Per, per pound of body weight. And then fats, I usually keep my fats kind of low. The range is like 0.3 to 0.7. And then carbs, like Amy explains, um, she we go to one to three grams per body fat or per, per body pound a day. Proteins, so I always go with like a leaner protein, usually like chicken breast or I'll go with 96.4 ground beef. Now, you can do like fattier meats, like salmon, Those that's good for you. Um, and then chicken thigh and stuff. You just have to think about that. It's gonna be part of your fat intake, okay? So fats are gonna help regulate your hormones. They're gonna help with vitamin absorption. Um, so they're very important for you. But fat is the easiest thing for your body to turn into fat. So just know that. So that's why we kind of do like a lower range. So some healthy fats would be like, like I said, like you can do the salmon and stuff like that, but also avocado. I like to do like olive oils. I like almond butter. Almond butter is a good one. Just get the unsweetened one. You're gonna wanna watch your sugars on that. And then eggs, it's great. Uh, and egg whites is a great um, source of clean protein. So there's lots of different options. So we're also gonna tell y'all kind of what our diet looks like and what we kind of eat in a day. And you can like follow along with us while we go grocery shopping and kind of see what we do. But there's a million options. And I just wanna tell y'all that one of a good tool to use is my fitness pal now you have to fact check it a lot because anybody can put anything in and this is not sponsored by my fitness pal but 
if you like are new to it and you're trying to learn, kind of put in your percentages in there or your macros in there and kind of try to build your meal plan. So just a little information about carbs. Carbs are my favorite macronutrient. You want one to three grams of carbs per pound of body fat. So for me, I right now, as this most recent check-in, 133.6, I'm gonna at least want that much carbs for my diet right now. Of course, I'm doing a lot of heavy lifting, so I have more. Each carb is four calories per gram. So you do have a lot of carbs to play with. With that being said, you want a lot of clean carbs, like rice, there's jasmine rice, you can fill it with rice cakes. There's great stuff called Kodiak pancake mix. Just make sure, um, kind of look at the fats and all the other macros in the carbs because Kodiak does have a little bit of protein in it. There's also quinoa, fruits, and you can do vegetables. Zucchini is a really good vegetable because it's really light on calories. So you can have a lot of zucchini if you're feeling hungry, even though you ate a lot of your food already for the day. So I was just throwing some zucchini and some pickles for some low carb, but like really filling foods. Lastly, I like to touch base on potatoes. <laughs> I love potatoes and potatoes are great because there's a variety you can do with them. You have sweet potatoes, you can get red potatoes, steak potatoes, any kind of potato you want, you can eat. And there's so many different ways to prepare, prepare your potatoes. You can do air fried potatoes, skillet potatoes, baked potatoes, sweet potatoes. You can even throw some stevia and some cinnamon. Make your own little sweet potato casserole. There you go. Yep. Let, let me hear about how you, you like to prepare your potatoes. Well, personally, I can't cook in the air fryer. So instead of eating dried potatoes, because I can't figure that one out yet, it's like a spaceship. I like to skillet fry my potatoes and drown them in hot sauce. I personally, there's, uh, I love the air fryer with my potatoes. Um, cut them up and put a little olive oil on them, like the spray, and then just, just put them in the air fryer. Potatoes are your best friend. Some might even say, I look like a potato. Oh no, no, that's not true. Nobody says that. Anyways, guys, so I've that's some say. great facts about <laughs> How to get yourself set up on some macros and some um, like what your protein, your fats, and your carbs. Hopefully that we explained it well enough for y'all, but we're gonna share some of our favorite hacks to the diets. So some of the things that we do to make what people would call boring food a little more fun. So Amy, what's like something you like to use a lot? Um, I didn't put anything on this. This is a blank sheet of paper that I did, but we're gonna flip it over and act like there's a bunch of stuff written on it. Um, <laughs> what do you like to use on like your yogurt and like your oatmeal and stuff like that? Like what are some fun hacks that you like to do? So I like to put protein in everything because I don't like eating a lot of chicken. I get tired of chicken and I also don't like cooking a variety of food because it's just easy for me to meal prep, but to each their own. So I love my protein supplements and protein powder. So I'll get my protein macros in by just throwing half a scoop of protein or a scoop of protein into my oatmeal or into my yogurt. Yeah, that became a, a staple in my diet now. It's really good. Yeah. So like a little protein um, in your yogurt, and then I love to use Nature Valley's um, protein granola, and then also I throw some blueberries in there. And then they have things like sugar-free jellies and like sauces, and honestly, I love like when I'm really craving like sugar and stuff, like cinnamon, or like Amy uses. Pumpkin spice. Yeah, for tis the season. Those are some of the hacks. And then there's lots of like sauces. So they have like, um, sugar-free barbecue, sugar-free ketchup. Yeah, you'll be surprised how much sugar is in those sauces that y'all put on there. Just like dressings, like dressing, there's a ton of fat. So just be careful of like what you're putting in your body. Like, yes, you can have them in like smaller amounts, but try and like mix it up and find something that maybe you like more that's like a little healthier for you. There's also, what else do I like to do to spice it up? I mean, you- pita bread? Pita, pita bread. bread. I've been making a ton of like chicken pita wraps. Those are like one of my favorites right now. Um, Dave's killer bread. Yeah, the Dave's bagels are great. Yeah, so there's just like a ton of options that you can do. You just have to like be more mindful of what the food you're putting in. So like maybe a good tip would be to like make your meal plan first and then go to the grocery store or do your order. That way you know what you're going to get and you're not just like tempted by like everything on the shelf. Me and Tiffany have a rule before we go grocery shopping. We have our meal plan made. We know exactly what we're getting and we have to eat a snack because you do not want to go to that store hungry. No, it's just better to always go to the grocery store when you're full. And if you can, it's nice to have an accountability partner with you. Yeah, if you can. If you can. Don't take your boyfriend. Take your He's dog. always going to convince you to, to cheat. 
on your food, not on him. <laughs> Don't cheat on your boyfriend. All right, guys. So that's our macros and that's some tips for you to get your macros. Comment below. Yeah, subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to comment, reach out to us, find our Instagrams. And then if y'all want to see any other kind of info or ideas from us uh, about our journey or just like general questions about fitness, please feel free to like hit us up in the DMs. And then, yeah, like Amy said, like and subscribe, support us. We would love y'all for that. Um, thanks for watching. We really appreciate it. And we hope to see y'all soon. Yeah, good luck on your fitness journey. Good luck on your fitness journey.